Go for it. Hi, I'm Dave Biggs, and I'm just going to give you a quick tour of MetroQuest. So basically, the whole idea behind MetroQuest is the fact that public meetings encourage people to come out and spend a couple of hours, and usually it ends up being the people that are most motivated that will be willing to do that. T tends to be a lot of people who are angry or afraid of whatever's going on. The people who are relatively supportive usually only have about five minutes to spend, so we've developed a tool which allows people to weigh in on a planning process very visually and interactively, and it takes them about five minutes. And how we do that is through a variety variety of different screen types that can allow people to interact with different planning situations and have their input in different ways very visually and easily. So I'll just show you a few examples here. So this is a, uh, a, a town center implementation project. So the public would come in here, they'd either be using a kiosk at a community center or they'd be on a street corner and somebody would be coming up to them with a tablet or they'd be at, at, at home or on their phone. And the first question here is, what's important to you? So you're just ranking your priorities here of what's most important. And then you move over here and you look at different planning options. These are different scenarios and you can see the outcomes associated with the different scenarios. You can also see visualizations and then weigh in on which one you like. This one has a quick little visual preference survey that allows you to thumbs up or thumbs down different planning uh, examples. And usually we finish with a quick screen that asks people for a little bit of information to describe themselves and talks about where we are in the planning process. I'll just run you through a couple of different examples. This is a project for the Tampa area, and this allows people to see different scenario outcomes. And so here's a scenario that does pretty well on the things that I like, so I'm going to give it a nice rating. This one here allows people to simply drag comments on a map and put them into different categories. So it's a great way of having people submit where they think new improvements or developments need to happen. Just to give you kind of an example, we've probably collected 50 or 60,000 comments on this map in a matter of about four weeks. And so that allows us to see where issues are clustering so we can go into the next phase of the planning process a lot more informed. The last few I'm going to show you relate to kind of the funding issues that we get to, usually in the latter stages of the planning process. This one allows people to thumbs up or thumbs down different projects that are being proposed. And as we do that, we see how much we've spent over here. And of course, we can get ourselves into big trouble by spending way too much on a big project. And so we're constraining them that way. This one allows people to pick their taxes. How would you like to raise the budget to pay for transportation improvements? So here I'm picking my top five mechanisms for raising the budget and then I can move over here and figure out how much of each of them is it going to take to balance the budget. So there we go. I've now got a balanced budget. 12,500 people participated in this, and so it gives people in the planning world a lot of information about what the public wants, and the public can actually weigh in on the trade-offs associated with different choices in about five minutes. And so hopefully we're getting more information from more people, a more diverse demographic, but it's also richer information because we can show them the trade-offs before they weigh in on which one they'd like to see. Right. And just to add one more thing, you now have a... Can you tell us about, tell me what you were telling me before about the uh, mobile? Right, so I mean we, we support a variety of applications, uh, uh, kiosks, um, uh, iPads on street corners and, and now smartphones and when we, uh, when we released our first smartphone uh, enabled application we instantly went to 30% smartphone users. So I don't know what those people were accessing before but they were probably going to a pretty clunky thing that was an awkward fit. Now it configures itself automatically when you go to the site it knows that you're on a smartphone and it lays things out accordingly and allows you to participate on the bus or wherever you are.
Excellent.